Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Paper Rose, and we're going to do very simple watercoloring. I first will apologize for my voice. I am coming off of a pretty bad cold. This is the stamp set that we are using today, and it's called Modern Poppies, and it's a 4x6 stamp set. When I immediately saw this, I thought it was the perfect stamp set to show very simple watercoloring. We're just going to drop our color. I have a piece here of Canson XL watercolor and I'm stamping my image using my VersaFine black ink. This is a great ink when you do watercoloring. I am also going to heat emboss this with my clear embossing powder. This just helps hold in basically that watercolor but I never worry if the watercolor goes outside those lines but it is a great technique for beginners. I'm going to heat up my heat tool and I like to start at the back and then come to the front when I know I'm at the right temperature and that helps just minimize warping. Your cardstock will warp when it comes to this. So let's get start watercoloring. I just tape my panel uh, straight on to my mat. Um, this way, I know it's in the right spot, so you all can see it first, um, but it's just easy to tape it right down. Now, I'm not going to be adding too much water, but I did want to make sure that this was flat. I grabbed my watercolors, and any watercolors will do, and we're going to use all kinds of shades of reds and oranges and some yellows and a little bit of a darker color um, when it comes to our poppies. What I'm doing first, once my colors are mixed, I'm laying down some water and then I'm just going to drop the colors. I put down a dark color first and you can see it immediately reacts with the water. Once I have that, I'm coming back in with a damp brush and I'm moving that color around. Not worried if some areas are darker than others. Doing that again, but using a different shade and then helping to push that out. It's a way to get a base color onto your flower. I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just putting water down and dropping in some colors. That's all we're doing here. You can choose different values and different looks for each of your petals. This one here, as you can see, I'm adding a little bit more yellow. And as the other flowers are dry, drying, I'm adding some more colors in as well. I will use a green when it comes to the stems and the leaves. And again, I don't worry about those colors running outside the lines. I think it adds to the watercolor look. So sit back and enjoy and I'm going to play some music while we finish our piece. Now that our piece is dried, and you saw that I did add some splatters, I was not worried that my flowers were still wet and would take on that green. It just adds to the uniqueness. Pull back the tape, which is the most satisfying part. And I did forget to use a darker color for my watercolors for the center of my poppies. So I'm just going to come in with my moment, my moment, <laughs> wow, my black pen. Let's just go with that. I'm going to trim this panel down, and this panel actually measures, and I'm measuring it right now, four 
by five and a half once I am done the trimming. I will have a panel of black that will come off of that. That'll be cut to four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then my final mat will be cut to six and three quarters by four and three quarters as I am making a five by seven card. I'm using one of the sentiments from the stamp set. And I just loved it. Just believe in yourself. Stamp that down towards the bottom and I will heat set that as well. Just to continue that look for uh, the edges of my flowers. Now, since I did do water coloring and I did do a lot of heat embossing on this, I will be using my two inch wide film tape. Um, this is double sided and I actually get it from Uline because this will flatten my panel out. I will continue this through all of the mats. The panel will warp when it comes to the water coloring that was done, even though we dried it flat because we had it taped down. The panel will warp because of the embossing that we did. Um, and to get that perfectly flat, sometimes it is challenging. I find with this tape, it perfectly flattens out my card immediately. I continue that with each layer to continue to support the strength of that panel to keep that flat. Came in with a brush there. I saw some embossing powder still sitting there. Just brush that away with a soft brush. And now we're going to place our final panel down onto our 5x7 card base. And that is our card today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some tricks for some beautiful watercoloring that takes no time at all. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Enjoy the art that you create because you all do create art. Doesn't matter what it looks like or what it turns into and never give up. But remember what's most important. Always be creative, guys. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then.